Hey guys, my name is AJ Bubbles, and thank you for coming back to another Let's Play of Pokemon Academy Life. Now, when I ended up last time was I found out that my roommate was Brendan, and I met May, and now I'm thinking I'm going to, going to get to choose my electives, or what, meaning like the Pokemon types that I want to learn about. So I'm going to continue. Alright, look at this show on the road. Which two type electives will you choose? Hey, look at that, I was right. There are 18 known Pokemon types. I decide I have to decide carefully which two types will, should be my electives for this year. So I already know that I really want electric because Pikachu. And I love electric Pokemon, they're so cute. Should I go with electric as an elective? Of course. One more to go. Now, I really like Dragon, Ghost, and Dark. Because with Dragon, you get, like, any Dragon-type Pokemon. Like, Dratini, um, Dragonite, Dragonair. With Ghost, you have, like, Gengar, Ghastly, um, any Ghost-type Pokemon. I love Ghost-type Pokemon. I don't know why, don't ask me why, I just do. And then Dark, you get, like, Puchina, Mydiana, <clears throat> Um, other ghost or dark type Pokemon I can't think of the top of my head. So I'm gonna go with ghost. Should I go with ghost? Oh the freaking course! You select a electric and ghost as your type electives. Yes! Let's see, you picked electric and ghost. I chose grass and ground. Ah well. Ah, so like I said, I was just messing with you earlier. Don't slack off just because I'm not in your class. Well, there's always homeroom. We don't know about yet. What a day, bro. Imagine next week we'll be, we'll be we are really launching a new brand new life here at this school. He's right. It all starts after this weekend. So, I'm very excited for this. Despite the heavy force of exhaustion bearing me down, I continue to sort through my belongings and finish unpacking everything. The full onset of the night was here and going to sleep would be common sense. However, actually being able to fall asleep was a different story. To say I wasn't excited would be a blatant lie. I'm hundreds of miles away from home, and now I'm here at this academy with countless new people to meet. Just a few more days. I can't wait. I mean, like, I would be so excited to be going to this school. I'd be like, screw culinary. I want to learn about Pokemon. Ooh. Okay. All right, we're skipping right to the fifth. April, year one. This is so exciting. It's finally the first day of classes. Over the weekend, I spent most of my time setting up the room and getting used to campus. Relic Hall is surprisingly big. It's got this huge auditorium, a student lounge, a library. I still get lost sometimes, even with the map, but I'm slowly getting used to it. Well, you're getting lost because you don't know the building very well. I haven't been able to check out the academy building yet. It's been off limits since the school opened its doors, but it's recently been available for students. I'm dying to see who will be in my classes. That same chill I felt from when I first got here snuck up on me again. I'm getting goosebumps! Let's do this. Yeah, goose nips. Ready to get some breakfast before the big day? We're heading to the main cafeteria? Never skip breakfast. Never skip leg day. I'm ready, let's go. May was waiting for us at the entrance. I didn't get to see her much over the weekend. Even if Brendan and I had to run the same types of errands, I wasn't planning on third wheeling the whole time. That's because that's always very awkward. Speaking of third wheeling, I still haven't met her roommate, Leaf. I hopefully will bump into her today on the way to class. She can't possibly skip the first day of classes. Right. Yay! Character cards. Huh? Who? Who? Oh, May. Little Root Town, Hoenn. Fire and fighting. May is an ongoing girl, and with a wildly enthusiastic nature, her contagious smile allows her to easily forge friendships with other girls her age. Despite being the daughter of Pokemon Professor, she has no intention of pursuing a career in research. Okay, get out of here. 
Oh boy, that looks very nice. The main cafeteria is absolutely massive. Well, the student center is, is a the student center as a whole is a massive building, second to only the academy's main building itself. All the students just refer to it as the academy. Here at the cafe and here in the cafe, hundreds of students can be seated simultaneously, and most importantly, comfortably. At first, I thought the space would be an issue, but I was surprised to find the opposite is true. Morning hours tend to be the most hectic, as students from all different grades file in, but operations run smoothly nonetheless. It certainly may- Oh my god! Hi, Della Bird! It certainly makes things easier when various Pokemon help with service, while the academy staff handles the cooking and talking. Then again, this isn't the only place that serves food on campus. Many students opt for smaller cafes and lounges located in other buildings, such as student facilities or residential halls. We're just here because it's close to our classes. Uh oh, are those more Pokemon? Yeah, over here, Torino, Trevor. Oh, morning, guys. What's up? I'm assuming the big guy is Torino, because he has those facial expressions, and Trevor is the other one. Good morning, everyone. You guys ready for today? Get a good night's sleep? Yep, both Trevor and I thought we'd get no sleep. I pass out no problem. Just like me last night at 12 o'clock midnight. <laughs> I thought I was- I thought I, I- I thought I was pretty excited last night, but now it's finally the day! Woo, baby, my soul is lit. So lit, fam. Trina and Trevor are roommates. They happened to room just a few doors down from Brendan and me. <clears throat> so they bumped into each other a few times over the weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> from what I've gathered, Trina is a huge fan of music and dance, while Trevor is more of an outdoorsy type. Yeah, music, he has the Pokemon, Pokeball headphones, that's cool. They're both from the Kalos region, and it's cool how two very different people have been great friends for such a long time. Hey! Just like me and Blue! Oh? Where's Leaf? May? <laughs> you never got to meet her once, did you? Yeah, what's with that? We had so many chances to hang out, and we still don't even know what she looks like. Leaf's an interesting one. Even I rarely get to see her. She keeps a busy schedule. A little too busy, I think. But I swear, she does exist! Oh, I was going to ask earlier, but I forgot. What electives did you pick, Red? Electric and Ghost. Oh, that's too bad. I picked Fire and Fighting. I'm actually surprised Brendan didn't pick one of those himself. I think we both get a little insane if we were in the same class. You're not wrong. I also I also played the logic as an elective, so it would be awesome to seeing you around, Red. Yes! Someone I don't know. Let's reserve seats for each other, yeah? I picked Ghost as well, Red. I look forward to seeing you there. You picked electric, huh? Oh, this might be interesting. It's Pikachu. And Pichu and Raichu. Anyway, anyway, I think it's amazing how there are so many Pokemon types to choose from. And by only picking two, you never know who's gonna end up in one of your classes. I can't say it enough. This is just so exciting in this way. May really enjoys the unpredictable. It's how she ended up rooming with Leaf after all. Did you know your Pokemon did you know your type preferences can be tied to your personality? For example, May's preference for fire types can mean that she has a lot of inner strength and can be very excitable. Her preferences for fighting can mean she's generally very active and won't back down from her ambitions. Why does it sound like compliments all around? I guess that reasoning works too, but I mostly chose fire and fighting because I really like the torturing evolutionary line. Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu. Gengar, Ghastly, Haunter. Bam. This is cool. I never heard about this before. What are your thoughts on reds? A preference for ghost types is usually associated with individuals who are in tune with spirituality. No. This also includes having a genuinely open mind, especially when it comes to the supernatural or unexplained. I do enjoy ghosts. 
I do, I really like ghosts. I love ghost shows, like Ghost Adventures. Oh my god, it's my favorite show. For electric preferences, the first trait involves proactiveness. And you can consider electric type trainers the ones who show the most re reactions to different areas and concepts. The second involves energy, as these individuals are, excuse the pun, walking spark plugs. Yo! Look, spark plug right here. That's so cool. What about me, Trevor? Hmm, I think we're loitering around here a little bit too long. Let us talk about it on the way to the cafeteria. Sounds like a plan, let's go then. I thought we were in the cafeteria. All right. Yay! It's clear we're not the only ones who are anxious. The unintelligible but fevering clamoring mostly from students stuffing their mouths full and dashing out the cafeteria before they could finish chewing, all contributed to the infectious hype. Back home, or rather any school from any region, I doubt it's possible to find so many students as excited about their first day as the students here. <clears throat> I'll admit, I became a victim. <coughs> <coughs> I'll admit, I became a victim of this atmosphere. I ate quickly like a madman, shoving my last piece of toast into my mouth like the many students before me, I got up from my seat. Oh, that's so pretty. Intense zoom in on the sidewalk. Wow, this area of the campus is amazing. Oh, I didn't even notice the unknown. What does that say? Pokemon Academy? I don't know, we'll see. I look how I see the symbols embossed on the Fuscade. Kobukai. It's Kobukai Academy, not Pokemon Academy. That would be too cheesy. Supposedly, this building has been around for nearly a century. It's hard to believe. The, the condition of this place makes it seem like it was built yesterday. It is a very nice building. I would love to go to college here. I'm having a difficult time imagining that this is what I'll be looking at each day from now on. Not that I'm complaining, because who would? <clears throat> First thing on the agenda is to check the homeroom assignments. Right, guys? Uh, guys? Guys. <laughs> they left me. I was so deep in thought that I didn't realize I was alone. Maybe I walked too fast. Or they were ahead of me already? Regardless, I need to get inside and check the homeroom assignments. You don't need uh, assignments. You didn't even take the class yet. Ooh, pretty. Weird. I still don't see the others. You figured two big eyes like Brendan and Torino would be hard to miss. There's a cluster of students gathered by a billboard. That must be the homeroom list. Oh, I didn't even notice that right there. Hmm, I quickly scan through Professor Oak's list and I immediately spot my name at the bottom. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. It's also different font, like I was a last minute addition to Oak's class. Let's see who else is in my class. Well, well, well. Oh god. Better not be blue. Oh god, it's blue. I said, well, well, well. I heard you the first time. Then at least look at me when you're talking to me. But wow, you actually got here before the bell. Still slower than me, but that's natural. So, which class are you in? Your grandpa's, according to this. How'd you miss my name? Oh crap, I just said blew up. He's gonna say something really condescending, like, my name is even on the worth a glance. Or maybe not. Gramps, are you serious? Why do you look so terrified? I guess it'd be kind of surprising for us to both get in the same class, considering the huge number of students in our year. I wonder if Professor Oak set this up himself. I hope he's not going to be playing any favorites this year. That would suck. Why? I thought I told him to- Self-voicing disabled. Nah, who cares? You're all Professor Oak? That voice. Hey, it's Dawn! At least I think so, because it looks like her. It looks so much like Dawn. Great flaming Moltres, it's that girl. I was sure I knew her name. I wish I... I cannot talk today. 
I sure wish I knew her name so I can offer more than a fucking wave. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? Hey, give me a break. I thought we were done with that. Didn't you say you had fun? Hey, don't get it twisted. I had lots of fun. You know this one, Bag? Shut up, Blue. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt a girl when she's talking to her friend. Yeah, right. I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... She leans over and whispers in my ear. She's so close, I can smell the sweet fragrance coming off of her. Psst, what's your name again? Ugh, way too close for comfort. Uh, uh, it's red. And uh, I'm a firm believer in sp personal space. <laughs> I'm gonna use that from now on. Hey, hey man, I'm a firm believer in personal space. You wanna back up some? I'm gonna use that from now on, watch me. Ah, yeah, I've read. We're besties. Always have been. You're not fooling anybody. Wait, Red? Red! Oh, you're Red. You're friends with May, right? You know May? I would hope so, being her roommate and all. That's not Dawn? Oh, sure, that was Dawn. Her roommate. Your Leaf! That's my name! My god, you better cut the crap. Your acting is so bad, it's pissing me off. Give it a rest, Blue. I know who Leaf is. I ran into her on our first day and she helped me out of the top spot. We're both short. Okay. Like, I give a Rattata's ass what happened. Ugh. You two have wasted my time enough already. I've got places to go and things to do. Smell ya. Smell ya. What does that even mean? It's Blue. He said that for the longest time as, I, and as I've known him. And I've known him for a long time. Not that I'm particularly proud about it. So he's been smelling you for a long time? What a creep. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Let's go, Red. We'll be late for our first class. So I have Leaf and Blue in my um, homeroom. Leaf, huh? And Blue and me in the same room for the next two hours. Every day for the next year. <sighs> this is going to be quite the semester. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I figured out that that girl was not Dawn, as I had presumably thought. That is Leaf, who is... Oh, May's roommate. The girl who helped me out of the situation from being in the girls' corridor in the first episode I made. And Leaf and Blue are in my homeroom, which is Professor Oaks. So that's always very exciting. Um, and I also picked Ghost-type and Electric-type Pokemon for my electives. Because I love Poke- I love Electric-type Pokemon and I love Ghost-type Pokemon. Don't ask why. I don't know why. They're just both really cool. So, like I said, I'm gonna end this episode here. But if you liked this episode, leave a like down below. Drop kick that subscribe button to subscribe to me for co quality content like this every Tuesday and Friday. And I will see you guys on Friday.